There's a big police search on right now for a missing two-year-old boy. Sam Trott has been missing for just over seven and a half hours. The toddler slipped out of his home in Lansdale. Libby Stone is there tonight and Libby, his mother, took her eyes off him for a matter of seconds. Tim, it may have been as little as 30 seconds and we'll hear from Sam's mum in just a moment. This is what Sam looks like. He's just two and a half and autistic. Sam darted out the front door while workers were installing mirrors at the family home. He was wearing a blue polo shirt, a pair of black shorts with a grey stripe on the side and no shoes. Uh, Tim, tonight Sam's parents are asking everyone in this area to look for him in their backyards, near their homes, anywhere they may be tonight so their little boy can come home. A confronting sight in the search for a little boy. Police divers scouring a lake in Lansdale not far from the home of Sam Trott. The divers were called into the search only hours after the two-year-old walked out the front door. Workmen were there installing mirrors. Sam's mother turned away from her son for less than 60 seconds. We're very surprised that um, somebody hasn't seen a, 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 a toddler walking down the road and it's, has, um, has, has called it in. Yeah, it's devastating. Sam's grandfather, Jeff, knocking on doors and rallying neighbours. Dozens of police were called into the search on horseback, motorbikes and on foot. And the police helicopter. Late this morning, police received two calls from people who thought they may have seen Sam, but those sightings are unconfirmed. Detectives are baffled by the fact that after hours of searching and appeals to the public, they still have no lead on where Sam is. For Sam's shattered parents, a terrifying moment this afternoon. Police arrived with a polo shirt they'd found, similar to the one their boy had been wearing. They showed it to Lyndall and Matthew Trott. It wasn't Sam's. He doesn't talk very much. Um, so he may not respond to his name being called, uh, which makes it, I guess, a little bit more difficult to find him. A very extensive search and we've thrown as many resources as we could to, to this search and we'll continue to do that throughout the, the day and the night. Estelle Lewis, Nine News. And Libby, the search for little Sam is really touching the hearts of the community there. And Tim, strangers are helping in any way they can. Hundreds have flooded social media to spread the word, while dozens more people who simply want to lend a hand have taken to the streets. For some, the desperate hunt hit home. These little ones no bigger than the boy they're searching for. You just can't sit at home and not come out to have a look. Poor baby, he's only two years old. There's just people everywhere and everyone's on their phones, um, it's on Facebook. Um, I, I've never seen anything like this. They don't know Sam, but Lansdale locals just want to do anything they can. Scared and sad. Just want to do all I can to find him. I've heard all the commotion, all the helicopters and the plane going around, so I thought come down, extra set of eyes. On bikes and on foot, they answered the plea to help look for Sam, taking to the streets and scouring bushland, knocking on doors and calling the little boy's name. Like Sam's parents, these locals are just hoping and praying for some good news. It actually makes you feel very emotional because I think if it was one of mine, I'd be just having a heart attack at the moment. So just hopefully somebody finds him somewhere soon. Mia Brankov, Nine News. And Tim, we'll keep you posted on any developments here at Lansdale. Hopefully we can deliver some good news very soon.